Hi and welcome to the video on finding areas of parallelograms and trapeziums. By the end of this video you should be able to find the area of those two quadrilaterals. So let's take a look. In this video we're going to find areas of parallelograms on the left and trapeziums on the right. A parallelogram looks like a pushed over rectangle. The reason why we say they're pushed over rectangles is because their opposite sides are exactly the same. And similar to a, parallel, similar to a rectangle it has a similar formula. Now, when finding the area of a rectangle, we need to know two variables. We need to know the length of the base, and we need to know the length of the height. The formula for the area of a parallelogram is area equals base times height, or A equals BH is a shorter way of writing that. For a trapezium, a trapezium looks like a triangle with the tip cut off. This is what a trapezium looks like. It has one pair of parallel lines that we know are parallel because of the arrows. When finding the area of a trapezium, you'll be given three variables. You'll be given the length of the height, and the length of one parallel side, and the other parallel side. And here's what you need to do with them. The area is the height divided by two, or half the height, times the sum of A plus B. So we need to add A and B together. Let's take a look at how that would um, be in an example. Our first example is a parallelogram with a height of 3 centimeters and a base of 8 centimeters. So the area is given by BH. So A equals 3 times 8. Don't worry that the 3 is the height and the 8 is the, um, is the base. Uh, it doesn't matter what order you multiply in. The area of this parallelogram is 3 times 8, which is 24 centimeter squares. Now that centimeter squares on the end is the units. So it is important to have that little 2 above the centimeter part of the answer. For example number 2, we have a trapezium. We have a height of 12 millimeters and parallel sides of 10 and 20 millimeters. The formula for the area of this trapezium is half the height times A plus B. The height is 12, A and B is 10 and 20, so I'm going to make that substitution. Now you can use a calculator or you could ask yourself, 12 divided by 2, what's that? That's 6. 10 plus 20, that's 30. And 6 times 30, is 180. The area of this trapezium is 180 centimeter squares. So what should you write? You should write the notes on the area of a parallelogram as well as the area of a trapezium and our two worked examples. And that's it. Hopefully now you know how to calculate the area of a parallelogram and a trapezium and you watch the next video on kites and rhombuses. Good luck.